I don't often make loadout videos. I know a lot of content creators, that's their bread and butter, but I just don't find them that interesting. Except that is when I find something that is so insanely broken and overpowered, I think everybody should have a chance to play with it before it inevitably gets nerfed. And that's what's happened today. But with something that's not in normal Warzone, this is in Warzone Mobile. So the gun we're talking about today is the Baz B Battle Rifle, but specifically with that aftermarket part attached that turns it into a lever action single fire rifle. It's insanely good at medium range and even short range to be honest. It does struggle a bit at long range, it's very hard to hit your shots accurately, but to be honest, because it fires quite quickly and the magazine is huge, you can still kind of make it work and snipe people, as long as you don't mind missing a bunch of shots. I'll put the full build at the end of the video, you know, because I want the watch time, but let's just enjoy how insanely broken this thing is. To be honest, it does feel a bit unfair to use it. Like, I feel a bit conflicted about whether or not I should be using this thing. I'll let you decide in the comments whether or not it's fair to use a weapon like this. It feels like the DMR did in Warzone when that completely overtook the meta. It's not quite as accurate as that, so it's not the sort of thing that you can just lock down an entire zone from miles away. But it does feel like in a close quarters engagement, nobody else really has a chance. And the weirdest thing is, I don't even see that many people using it. I get the impression that people who play Warzone Mobile aren't as invested in trying to research the meta and watch every Call of Duty video they possibly can or anything like that. So that probably explains why I'm not seeing other people use it very much, but I think I've only seen me using it and Marley13. I know he was using it for a while too, and that's actually where I got the build from. So massive thanks to Marley. But the headline for it is that it can kill people in... I would say on average three shots, even if they're fully plated, and it fires super quickly and can be silenced. So you can just run around finding people and they just be like, bup, 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 and they're dead. Like, completely dead. When they're on the floor down, you can shoot them once and finish them off with a single shot. Sometimes, if you're close enough, or you manage to get an upper chest or headshot, or you've got stopping power, it can even be a two-shot kill. So as soon as you see them, it's just bup, bup, and they are dead. That's absolutely insane. I haven't seen another gun in Warzone Mobile that comes close. I'm really looking forward to some people like True Game Data and J God spending some time with Warzone Mobile and sort of coming up with an idea of how different the weapons are, how differently they behave compared to the base game, because I know this is the same engine, but it does feel like different weapons are doing really well here. If anyone does manage to find a build of this where it also works over long range, whether it's a lot steadier and it's kind of the bullets actually go where you want it to over long range, please let me know in the comments below or how I could adapt the build to make that work because that's kind of the only area where this struggles a little bit. To be honest, I'm kind of almost hoping that they nerf this sooner rather than later because if everyone gets hold of it, Warzone Mobile is just going to be an absolute joke. But while we do have it, let's enjoy a little bit of gameplay where I'm using it. Oh, that's brutal. <laughs> that's probably brutal. The area's cleared out. He's gonna play it up, obviously. Oh my god, he's gone. I can't shoot that far with this gun. Thankfully, it's not that accurate a distance, otherwise, it'd be a nightmare. Ooh. That was uh that was a close one, wasn't it? I feel like I should be dead. Requesting close air. Target mark. Enemy UAV active. <laughs> Screw you, Chris. 
There's some shots down there. Oh, there's someone up here on the left. I need to go up there, I think. People are really not paying attention to the meta of this game. Which is a pretty massive advantage for me. That like people just don't seem to realise how good this gun is. Happy Easter, Stephen. This is all about Warzone that you have more fun with while playing mobile version. Oh. Yeah, definitely. I need to I should do a video about how broken this gun is. But they need to fix it. They need to just nerf it because it's crazy. I don't really like being right in the middle of the zone like this, to be honest. Well, oh, that's fine. Why not? This means that I'm kind of exposed, and I don't really have any long distance things. I'm relying on people actually getting to me. I do have an airstrike in case people go up to one of those hills again. Up there. In case Chris is still in the game. What is the meta? It's this thing, the Baz B with the lever action aftermarket thing. It just makes it so powerful, it's very silly. Okay, this is better. Okay, someone's sniping at me. Don't know where from. Up there, maybe? Requesting close air. Target marked. Copy. Longbow 3 1 on approach. Strike it down. Did he just break his legs? I think he did. Impact. No hit. See how inaccurate this thing is. Enemy dropping into the AO. From the house. Clinical. Gas is closing in. Yeah, I'll show you the build for this gun afterwards. How many left? What? 19 people are left. What? Eighteen people are left. You've got gas inbound. Safe zone relocated. Now we'll leave that game there, because even though I was the last person alive, I didn't win that game. And what happened was unbelievably crazy. 
and made me question some of the things that Activision have been saying about Warzone Mobile. But we'll save that for tomorrow's video. Make sure you subscribe so you get notified when that goes live. Let's have a look at the build for this Baz B. So this is the build we're using. Like I said, it's the Baz B Battle Rifle. And I'll go through each attachment and kind of tell you what we're doing. So it's got the Jack Outlaw 277 aftermarket part. This was something you got for completing the weekly challenge in I think week five of season two reloaded. Um, so I'm not sure quite how you're going to be able to get it after that. I assume you can just get it through the armory or something like that. But on the end of the barrel, we've got the Spirit Fire Suppressor Muzzle, Spirit Fire Suppressor L, just to keep it silent, keeps off the minimap. Then we've also got the Venom Long Barrel to give it a little bit more range, because it does desperately need a little bit of range on there. For the optic, I've got the Corio Eagle's Eye two and a half times. It's a fast two and a half times optic, but you could use whatever you want on that, really. For the underbarrel, we've got the Bruin Heavy Support Grip, which is pretty standard. I think a lot of people use that for recoil control. And that's it. So that is the Baz B that is ridiculously broken and overpowered right now. Like I said, if anyone finds a way to make this work a bit better over long range, please let us know in the comments below because that'd be a lot of fun to play with it. And I would strongly suggest you have a go with this now because I wouldn't be surprised if with season three coming out on Wednesday, They'll probably do a big balancing pass then, like they normally do with any big patch. So I would kind of expect to see this thing get nerfed into the ground then.